remember that shark I see Z300 that we gave a service a while ago? Well, when the lady started to arrange to pick it back up, she said she's got another cordless vacuum cleaner. It doesn't work very well. She doesn't want it. Do I want to save it from the bin? And guess what she turned up with, folks? It's a Bosch Athlete. Our oh, nemesis. I hate these purely because they very frequently just die. Something on the PCB goes, and for your average Joe, there's not a lot you can do about it. But this one, which came with its charger, <gasps> whoa, this is big news, folks. This one charges, this one runs. Well, that's been on charge a lot, and that's only on half a battery, so that's a little bit annoying. But it's got no suction at all, but it charges, and that makes me very excited indeed. Let's have a look, see if we can get this old Hector working a bit better, and see if it's any good, or if it did deserve to just be snapped in half and go in the dustbin. Let's have a look. Yes, hello, my vacuum cleaner and cordless Chinese junk chums. How are you today? Yes, I am very how excited about this because, yeah, I quite like these in theory. A lot of collectors rave quite well about them. They seem to have a nice floor head. They seem to have all right suction. They're a lovely form fact. So I've just taken this down so I can come a bit closer in a second. But on paper, they're really, really nice. I've just never had a running one long enough to use it. If you remember a few years ago, we had one that wouldn't charge, but had battery left, so we killed it on video. But yeah, this one will charge itself back up. It is a Bosch Athlete. Power with up to, which is probably a complete no-go nowadays, 65 minutes of charge, presumably on the lowest power, with that turned off. Um, yeah, everything else is a bit closer. Yeah, the lady said it's not really picking anything up. There's no suction at all. Does this come off? It does. Ah, uh, oh, well, there we go. Look, case solved. Blimey, her Dyson wasn't much better either. Um, Sorry, it's a shark, was it? And um, yeah, exactly the same has happened to here. Oh yeah, absolutely nothing at all. And yeah, that is the biggest clue. Wow, people rave that the floor head's quite good on these and I'm inclined to believe them. I mean, look at that. This thing has just been a carpet sweeper for who knows how long. It's clogged right back up to the head. Oh, we have an easy clean brush roll. How does that come off? Ah, there we go, look. Oh yes, right in there. Easy to clean out than a Dyson. And I'm imagining that it's gonna run all the way <laughs> up to here. Look, it's May at the time I'm filming this. Happy Christmas, everybody. Right, I figured this might happen. So I did get Victor plugged in and we shall get rid of this in a flash. And that's probably going to fix this, let's be honest. We'll need a bit of dirt, actually. Whoa. Uh. Let's go in from the bottom. There we go. Yep, that's correct. That's correct. <laughs> uh, I guess I might do that in a second, but what's in here going to be like? Well, actually, because nothing's been getting through, completely empty. But I think in here somewhere, and I've no idea, ah, there it is, how to open it. Oh, oh it's stiff. Does this outer foam? It does, doesn't it? Oh, 
this has not been off in a long while. Oh, I'm, ah, there it is. Uh, yeah, uh, our micro sand filter doing micro good things there. The sensor, I don't think, came on, so this must be like the pneumatic quick and does have a useless dirt sensor on it. Right, let's see if we can just perk this up a little bit. That's a bit grim. And we'll call that good enough for now, really, because it'll all get washed. We'll see if this filter improves, but I don't know. We'll have to see how much new filters are. But for now, anyway, where did I put the machine? Thank you, Victor. Job well done once more. Victor V9, probably costing half of what this costs when new, in theory. Oh, yes. Yeah. It's still not great, but... And it's on that. Oh, and the battery's just taken a huge nosedive and it was on charge for quite a long time. Oh dear, oh dear. But never mind. We have a bit of tester. I'm gonna just tidy this up quickly. It's going to be very easy to lift it up and it stands up by itself which is worth the nothing I paid for it in itself Mediocre, I'll be honest. The brush roll does a lot of the heavy lifting, and it's not even that fab. 
But it works, and the glorious thing about it is that we can use it again because it takes a charge. So I think we're gonna to have to refurbish it. I'm gonna to have to wash the filters really, really well and just hope that they are really holding it back. Otherwise, this thing is a bit meh. This floor head is ever so chunky, especially when it tries to pivot, especially on the half floor, it just goes. And despite the handle being really nice and tall, it's not that nice to hold. Oh, bless Bosch. I think they still make the athletes. It's probably better now than it was before. But do let me know what you think down below and hopefully this thing will start to work much, much better once it's been cleaned. With its sense of bagless technology, which didn't really work when the machine was fully clogged. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. But until the next time, I and my Bosch 25.2 volts, which mm, this says 30 volts, so I don't know who's lying more. Oh, A, that's upside down. B, the card is in the way. Yeah, look, 25.2 volts. I'm sure I saw 30 volts somewhere. I must be mistaken, but never mind. Oh, can anybody date it for me? I don't really know. It is at 30 volts. It's just lying. Hey ho, although the brush roll itself is 20, so that might have something to do with it. But until the next time, I and some other catastrophic cordless vacuum cleaner will see you soon. Bye bye!